And then loosen it. Do not try to pull the end mill out with your fingers like this. It doesn't end well. Right? Either take the tool completely out and push from the bottom. So now you can grip safely. Or take a rag, put it around and pull it out slowly. Right? Yeah. Don't just try to pull it out, especially when you're using cooling. That cooling can dry up and make it stick inside. So when you try to pull it out, Sliced fingers. Right? Yeah. <laughs> TG, exact same way. But hold her in, make sure it doesn't move. Sometimes this one will stick. So you see here it's locked up again. If you try to pull that out right now, it's not going to come out. So you've got to loosen it a little bit more. Now, you can slide it out. Personally, I always like to just push from the bottom. It's a lot safer. Never cut myself. Right? Any questions how to set up the tools? Another common problem that people do is they put the wrong collet in the wrong holder. So the easiest thing to do is just put the collet in the holder and see if it fits. There's this one. So nope. I hate doing this because it always falls out and I can't get it back in. You can see what happens here. It doesn't nope. fit. Right? Alternatively, we're using the TG. We try and put it in the AR32. Too big. Does that fit? Not sure which collet, just try to put the collet in the hole. It should correspond, it should match. Right? It should just stick out very slightly from the top. Right? But remember, you do not put the nut on top from there. You always got to snap the collet into the collet nut at the top. Right? The collet into the collet nut. So let's go to the machine. Who's interviewing? 920, you better bounce. <laughs> yeah, yours, yeah, yours is in, you got to end leave five minutes early. So yours is in 15 minutes. So in the classroom, what RPM did we work out for our half inch for the end mill for that cold cold steel? 688. So on MDI, you can type S. S controls spindle speed. So S, 688. It does not accept decimal points. I change it with a decimal point and I try to run it. Invalid address. All right? It does not understand decimal points. S, 600. And three turned it on clockwise direction. Right? So once you hit cycle start, that is going to turn your spindle on. If you press current commands, that's going to tell you your exact RPM right now. It's programmed for 688. The actual is 690. It'll be within two or three RPMs every single time. Right? You change it to 1146, 1148, change it to 2500. <laughs> Almost exact, every single time. That's why we need to use that 3.82. Right? Now, in the bottom left, you've got some overrides. Be careful when you use these. Especially when you edge find. If you turn your edge finder on too fast, the spring through the middle stretches and then it breaks and your edge finder disintegrates into three different pieces. Right? What you can do is you can press clockwise and the machine will use the last programmed spindle speed, which in our case is going to be 2,500. My edge finder would have just disintegrated by that. 
So be careful. You don't have to keep going to any eye to turn on the spindle. You can use the overrides. What it uses the last spindle speed. So if you don't know what the last spindle speed was, go to NDI. You can either press erase program, that will delete everything, or you can press delete, which will delete them one at a time. And just type it out, S688 M3. And nothing is gonna happen until you press that cycle step. Okay. So we're gonna bring the tool down until it's close to the workpiece. Make sure your tool is down low enough so that you take it all in one pass. So make sure your end mill is blown apart. So it's slightly blown apart right there. I'm going to turn the spindle on. And we're going to touch against the workpiece. So make sure it's on slow. If you touch on too fast, you're going to put a big gouge in your part. Now you're going to have a scrapped piece. Right? So slow. Always double check on the screen what increments it's going to move. It tells you. That's one thousand. So every little click of this dial moves it one thousand. You're going to come in and touch the workpiece. Nice and slow. You'll hear a touch. You'll see a couple of chips come off. Don't leave it like that. What sound do you hear? It's rubbing right now. I'm wearing the end mill for no reason. So quickly change the axes and bring your tool off. So right now we don't have a zero to work with. So what you want to do is you want to look for the operator page by itself. So press page up or page down until you see operator. Once you see operator, you can press X origin. What happened to our screen? We zeroed it. So now we know how much material we're taking on. Right? If you are on work and you press X origin, what happens? Nothing. Nothing. Machine, nothing. To go, nothing. nothing. The only page you can work on is the operator page. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off five thousandths. Which way do we need to move it? X. X. Negative. negative. X negative, yeah. Five thousandths. Zero, zero, five. Zero, 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 five is five tenths. Five tenths. Right? So we're going to take five thousandths. We're going to turn the coolant on. So you press the coolant button here. Tool over the work piece. Yeah, that's what it's like. Big old car wash. Now, when you guys do this, do not take it out. I'm only taking it out so you can see the surface feature. Otherwise, you're going to have to keep touching it on all the time. But what do you notice about my surface finish? Come on, be honest. Like I can take constructive light. criticism. <laughs> kind of like that. It's not very good, right? Yeah. Why? The speeds? Because the speed was right. It just showed it. 688. Yeah. I did it by hand. What feed rate was I going? Okay. No idea, right? And as you move the handle, when you go up, because of the motion of your wrist, it'll actually be slower than when you go down. So those little lines are where you're changing the feed rate. Oh, up and damn. down, up and down. It's not consistent because right? it's, so it's, it's not automatic. But the machine can be used consistently. And that's what we're going to do. So again, don't take your part out. I'm only doing it so you can see the surface finish each time. 
So now I've got to touch on again. Always make sure there's no chips in there. So some people don't like to touch on because they don't trust the eyesight. So another way you can do it is take a piece of paper, wet it with the coolant. Don't lick it, please. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. And now that you wet it, it will stick to your palm, right? So when you come in and you touch against it, Instead of seeing the chips, a piece of paper is going to move. Now you know you're touching against the edge. All right? Now, once you're done with the paper, please take it out because as it melts and decomposes, it blocks up the filter. So the coolant won't come out. But don't put your hands in while the spindle is running, right? So move your tool off. Stop the spindle. And then take it out and just trash it. So X origin, because that's our zero. Don't forget, your piece of paper is about three thou thick. So I'm actually going to go like seven or eight this time. Are not exactly against that edge, which is the thickness of the pen. Ready, spindle on. So, clockwise. If you're not sure what the spindle is moving at, go to current commands, it will tell you. If it's not the correct one, go to MBI and type it in. And then this time, instead of moving the handle by hand, we're going to have the machine move. So, what was the feed rate that we worked at? Was it 68? 8.2, all right? So in the middle here is a button called Jog Lock. That's how we get the machine to move at a feed rate. So it changes. It changes from these numbers across the top to the numbers across the bottom. So if I press this one, it will go 100 thousandths every minute. If I press this one, one inch every minute. 10 inches per minute, 100 oh, inches per minute, right? Mm -hmm. But we just said it was a feed rate of what? 82. Eight. 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 Or eight. So which one is closest to eight? 10. Ten. Ten. But 10 is still too fast. So what can we do? Your override. The overrides. Over here, we can reduce the feed rate 10% or increase it 10%. Oh, that's crazy. So if I drop it down 10% of 10, it's going to drop it down how much? One. One. So that is going to go at a feed rate of nine. Do it again. Eight. Feed rate of eight. Eight, eight point two. That's close enough. All right. So turn the coolant on. Jog lock is on. We just got to tell the machine which way we want to move the spindle. X negative. Machine into the vice. Why? Why? Oh, oh, we're going positive. Up. We're going up. So press the Y positive key. And now the machine is moving at a feed rate of eight inches per minute. to stop, you can either press job lock again, or you can press the hold, or and stop and spin. And again, don't take your part out. I'm just doing it to show you the surface finish. Yeah, 
can see it. Yeah, I got it. It's pretty sharp. Pretty sharp mm -hmm. Sharper than it was. Well, it's better than high or high surface grinding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's one problem. What is it? Oh, uh, the uh, sharp edges? Like we didn't uh, knock off all sharp edges? You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The deburring. How did we cut it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Away from us. Right. So the left side of the tool was doing all the cut. What kind of cut was that? Uh, climb, not a climb cut, but a... Um, it's conventional cut. Conventional cut. You should always climb cut on the same seat. So the right side of the tool should be doing all the work. That means we should be starting at the back and going nice this way. direction. Towards you us. Get a better surface finish with better tool line. Right? So when you're doing it, once you've touched on, Always find the obligation part. Do the X origin. And that is zero. Take off negative five thousandths. Close the doors. Turn the cooling on. Press job lock. Make sure it's at feed rate 10, 80%, I'll give you a feed rate of 8, and you always want to be cutting with a Y negative, so the tool is pulling the chips B2, you're not recutting the chips, alright? Once you've taken your cut, Turn the coolant off, turn jog lock off, turn spindle off, and check your surface finish. If it hasn't cleaned up, just close your doors, turn the spindle on, move the Y back to where it was, and take another five back. Don't need to take the part out, keep touching on, right? So kill it, jog lock, B10, make sure the spindle is rotating. And take your cut. Always want to climb cut the CNC machine. There's no backlash. You don't have to worry about the machine jumping. Always climb cut. And once it's finished, cool it off, jog lock off, spindle off. I already know my pad is cleaned up, that's why I'm not checking it. You guys should check it. And we're looking for a nice, smooth machine finish. Beautiful. You're going to do that on both sides of your blocks. You have two blocks each. And that is going to get us prepared for the first operation of the V-block class this week. So this week, we're just going to be cutting chips. We haven't finished the hand plots, and we're going to stay behind and call them on and work the third or fourth. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Any questions what we're going to do? So keep checking the time, make sure you show up for that interview. Yeah, Jump five minutes. Machine, just doesn't matter which one, you can put it on all of them. It's in that room. I'm not sure. Uh, I, go yeah. ask. Yeah, uh, maybe ask her. Do I need to make anything? Not that I know. No. Just yourself. And a, and a positive attitude. So, one last thing <laughs> before we 
split off, we'll start working. What do we need to do before we do the other side? Deburr it. Deburr it. Knock, knock off. There's going to be burrs on that. Knock off our sharp edges. So if you put it in it sits on a burr, it's going to sit at a different angle. And it won't be 90 degrees. All right, let's get to it. 